Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 4. In this tutorial we will be going over functions. We will be using these functions to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit and vice versa. I'm going to be using a different teaching style than you have perhaps seen in other tutorials. I will first off be going over the basic skeleton of the code, but I will leave out the information that we will be learning in the tutorial. Everything that I have in the skeleton of the code should have already been covered in my previous tutorials. The first thing that we need to know about functions is that we must create a function prototype. A function prototype is basically an outline of what your function is going to contain. In order to make a function prototype, we need a data type of the function, the name of the function, and the data type of parameters we will be using. So why, why must we create a function prototype? Uh, this is because we will be creating our functions below the main function. However, if we created our functions above the main function, we would not have to create function prototypes. So if we do not have to create function prototypes, by having our functions above the main function, what is the point of creating a prototype? The purpose is to make the program readable so by having our prototypes at the top with our main function next to them, we don't have to constantly be scrolling through our program to find the names of the functions we created. This applies when you have many, many functions inside of a program. So inside our main function, we have two local variables for both Fahrenheit and Celsius. They are given the data type doubles because we are calculating a temperature so we want to be as precise as possible. Next we will inform the user of the program's purpose by giving them a welcoming introduction to the program and then asking them to input a Celsius temperature and then to input a temperature for Fahrenheit. After that the program will print out the results. The first format specifier will print out our user's inputted Celsius value and the second format specifier will be calling our function from inside the print statement after the Celsius value separated by a comma and it will return our converted value and print it to the screen and the same for Fahrenheit the first format specifier will print out our Fahrenheit value that the user inputted and after separated by a comma we will be calling our Fahrenheit to Celsius function and it will be returned and be printed out to the screen the value of that conversion and then we will end the program by thanking the user so the first thing that we're going to do is create our two function prototypes one will be for converting Celsius to Fahrenheit and the second will be for converting Fahrenheit to Celsius for the first function prototype we will give it a data type of double and the name will be C underscore 2 F and we will give it one parameter of type double ended by a semicolon the second prototype will be the same as the first except we will change the name to be F to C After this is done, it is now okay to create our function definitions, which will have our conversions inside. To create a function, we must use the same data type, the name, and parameter data type as our function prototypes. But also inside of the parameter, we must include a variable name. And this variable is only accessible through the function and cannot be accessed outside of it. After we have created our C to F function, we will use curly braces for the body of the function.
and as you can see in the comments we will be using this formula inside of the body of the function we will create a new variable of type double named f temp and we will set it equal to the formula above the parameter c will be passed through this formula the star which is shift 8 on the keyboard is used for multiplying and the forward slash is what we use for division then we will use the keyword return and return our f temp variable and this will set the function equal to that value in our main function where we print out the conversion we will type in the name of our function and we will give it the parameter Celsius the same exact thing will be done for our second function except we will use the, the name F to C and we will give it a parameter named F Next we will create a local variable of type double named ctemp and make it equal to the formula above. And then we will return that value. And then in our print function, we will print out our conversion using our second function and the parameter Fahrenheit. Now I will save and run the program. First I will compile it. Then I'll make an executable. And then I will call that executable. Welcome to the Celsius and Fahrenheit converter. Please enter your Celsius temperature. I'll do zero. Please enter your Fahrenheit temperature. 32. So 0 degrees in Celsius to Fahrenheit is equal to 32. 32 degrees in Fahrenheit to Celsius is 0. Thank you for using this program and have a great day. So and that is all I have for this tutorial. I'll be posting this code on my blog which the link will be in the description. In my next tutorial we'll be going over the same code so please save your program in a good location. We will be going over how to make a better user menu that allows us to run the program as many times as we want. And we will also make it so that if the user enters in something that is not a number, we will not crash the program. Right now, as it is, the program will crash if we enter anything except a number. So 
so we must anticipate that someone will accidentally enter in something else. Till next time, thanks for watching.